hard to believe that we're approaching a new school year. In fact, many students will start returning next week. But when students in Richland Township go back, there could be a few administrative positions that aren't yet filled. Maria Miller is live tonight with those details. Maria? Well, Marty and Jen, we had a crew at the school board meeting last night who heard from many parents that said everyone knew there were going to be retirements and positions left empty this year. But when we talked with the superintendent today, he said it's much more complicated than most think. We started off the year with uh, our director of technology uh, leaving, and uh, that was uh, shortly after the superintendent took another job elsewhere. Through retirements, we've lost uh, five or six teachers. Uh, we have the assistant principal at the high school, and so that has to be filled. The guidance position has been filled as of this morning, and we may possibly be losing our elementary principal to another district. To say the past couple of months for the Richland Township School District have been tough would be an understatement. Quite frankly, it's a bit of a mess that new superintendent Arnie Nadonnelly walked into when former superintendent Tom Fleming left. We need to pick up the pieces and move forward and, and uh, you know, we will be okay. But getting to that point has been difficult and with only about eight days until the new school year begins, parents took their concerns straight to the school board at a meeting Monday night. There's no reason we should be in this situation. Uh, uh, parents knew uh, as late as, as early as last year uh, that the current guidance counselor is going to be retiring. We have to follow the collective bargaining agreements and wait till we actually get those retirements in hand. You, you can't assume because they're talking about retirement. But that hasn't been the only struggle. It takes screening hundreds of applicants and interviews before a hire is made, not to mention a school board of 10 different people overseeing the process. Uh, we're here for kids. That's the purpose of this. And um, you want to have politics out of the way. And uh, I'm thankful that the, that the parents did come to the board meeting. They had a chance to speak. That's what democracy is about. And uh, with that, uh, I think that helped give the board direction. While Nadonnelly has his worries, he says he was hired for a reason and will make sure it all works out. They knew that, um, you know, I was going to give them opinions. I was going to give them recommendations. And, you know, I'm not always going to win every time, but I'm not going to pout about it either. But we are going to move forward. Now take a look. This is a chart of the top eight performing schools out of 35 districts in Richland's intermediate union, unit. You'll see that they rank at the very top, the highest performer according to the Department of Education. So Donnelly says something is working. He tells us as long as the district has its teachers, they'll make it through. Now he admits they might not have two principals to begin the year, but says they will find a way to make everything work, possibly calling in retired administrators if needed. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.